Hello everyone, I'm Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Jango World. So this is going to be a real quick video, okay? So in today's video, we are just going to allocate the permission to the rest of our classes. And then from next video, we are going to start with authentication. Okay, so let's jump into computer screen and get started. So here I am on my computer screen. Now, I'll just start with the category list create view. Now, I don't want any user okay to create the category so i'll remove all these permissions because i want is admin or read only permission because here i want admin to create the uh, category right and other users they just can read the categories they don't have roles to create category because if we will allow user to create category then they will create bunch of categories and it will be whole mess in the database okay so this is fine for me then i will allocate this same permission to category detail view okay then uh, on the blog list create view i want permission like is authenticated or read only permission so here if you will allocate that permission then authenticated user can create the uh, blog and other users who are who are not logged in they can just see the blogs right so here i can say permission under underscore classes equals to is authenticated or read only permission okay then here in the blog detail view i want is blog is owner or read only permission so if the blog owner is going to the detail view of the particular blog then he will be allowed to delete or update the blog rest users can read the blog okay then in the comment create view i just uh, want that the commenter should be authenticated okay so i can grab this permission from here let's say is authenticated okay so so the authenticated user can create the comment on the particular blog so i will say permission underscore classes equals to is authenticated okay here i want is owner or read only permission because if the blog commenter wants to edit his or her bl uh, blog comment then they can edit okay otherwise other user can have permission to read the comment okay so i think i have allocated the permission to every classes so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and in next video we are going to see authentication and i am just gonna you know clear the confusion between authentication and permission because many students uh, or developers have huge confusion between those two okay so next video is going to be very short and important video so yeah see you there thank you